Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take a look at an unbalanced delta load example. So here we have three impedances, which when you look at the given values are definitely not balanced. So what we're trying to do is try to find the three line currents, IA, IB, and IC. But since it's a delta load, what we first need to calculate, we need to calculate the current across each of the three impedances which can be done as follows. So IAB, by definition, is going to be the line voltage divided by the impedance. So the line voltages are given 440 volts at a phase angle of 0, 120, and uh, minus 120, and minus 240, which is the same as a plus 120. And so we're taking each of the line voltages and dividing them by their corresponding impedances on those particular portions of the load. So for ZAB, we have an impedance of 10 minus J5. For ZBC, we have 16 at a phase angle of 0. And for ZCA, we have 8 plus J6. So when we convert that into the magnitude and phase angle format, then we divide, we add the phase angles, and we have the corresponding, uh, corresponding currents IAB, IBC, and ICA. So that's the easy part. Now the next thing what we need to do is find the three line currents and we have to realize that IA, the current feeding this point right here, is equal to the current IAB minus the current ICA. So that's what we have over here, IAB minus ICA. So since IAB is a current right there, and we subtract from that the current ICA, which is the current here, then when we subtract these two, and subtract these two, we get this current, and we convert that to the magnitude and phase angle format, and that would be the line current IA. For current IB, notice it'll, equal, it'll be equal to IBC minus IAB. IBC minus IAB. IBC is this current right here. IAB is this current right here. Subtract the two from one another get the magnitude, we get the, the real and imaginary parts converted to magnitude and phase angle format, and that would then be the line current IB. For IC, realizing that the current feeding point C right here is equal to ICA minus IBC, so end up with ICA minus IBC. This is ICA, this is IBC, subtract so one from the other, we get this value, then we convert to magnitude and phase angle format. Of course, these are amps. So those are then the three line currents feeding the delta load. And that is the procedure you follow to get those three currents. That's how it's done.